Today I am going to show you how to check a trials type radiator for leaks. This is Jim Snell. Here I have the radiator submerged in water and using typical trials radiator hoses and a couple of pieces from the auto parts store I made this kit many years ago to block off a radiator and then be able to pressurize it. Obviously that's just a, a socket extension that happened to fit in the hose to block that one. On the other hose I have using parts from the auto parts store I have manufactured a small Schrader valve piece where I can inject air pressure into this sealed off radiator and then when it's submerged in water if there are any leaks it will be bubbling air out at this point in this test we have bubbles coming out of the pressure release valve which is the more modern type here it is uh, used by most manufacturers a little brass piece with a simple check ball and spring older bikes the pressure release was in the radiator cap so when you're pipe pumping this up with the bicycle pump you don't have to worry too much about over pressurizing the radiator because the valve will release at a specific point if it's working properly and when the valve returns to its normal pressure setting the bubbles will stop coming out of it and the valve is a simple spring with a small ball that the spring presses the ball against an orifice when pressure in the radiator gets high enough it pushes the ball back against the spring and the orifice opens and the excess pressure escapes when the pressure drops to the point that is the design point on this release valve then the ball goes back in the orifice and the pressure release valve closes however they can leak and be faulty simply because of a small piece of debris that's blocked in behind the ball and the seat when I was done checking this radiator and the ball and seat stopped bubbling I then take a tire gauge against the Schrader valve and check how much pressure remains in the radiator and that tells you the effective ability of the check valve. In this case the radiator was still holding 15 PSI after the valve stopped releasing. Thank you for watching my video.